Hi you beautiful humanity, welcome to Sayuna, the Pleiadian soul messages. This message for today is about thanking you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because you have raised the energies and the work you have done is far beyond expectation. And thanks to you, so many in the collective and fragments of soul and trapped souls could now come into the light and the love once again. You have helped more than you can imagine and for that we are so, so, so grateful. Thank you. And if you have allowed and felt the joy and opened up for the joy again in your liver, in your beingness, which is your normal and divine blueprint and right, and if you also have felt the love again and how grateful you are, what a beautiful life actually it is, then you have certainly surfed the waves that were now available because of you, because this is because of you, the way that you handle everything and move through and connect and unite with each other, so much kindness, so much compassion, and you're such a brave, devoted, beautiful, magnificent beings, we have no words, and we just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, for all those that have not felt these deeper loving and joyful frequencies yet, it will come. But there's more to cleanse, and as you know, once you took a wave, sometimes it can be like you take two steps forward and then one step back, or two steps forward, or one step forward and two steps back. But you're always in a forward movement. Look about your lives for 125 years ago. How much did you evolve? How much did you realize about who you are and the fastness of this universe? And most of you now know that you're not alone as human beings on the planet Earth within this expanded cosmos. Now, for those who are still facing their fears, look at this image. We see the dolphins, and the dolphins always have served as angels in the waters, as all of you know. And either they are being beings from Sirius forming these beautiful uh, dolphin bodies to serve, or either they have come from somewhere else and volunteered to take in the forms of these beautiful dolphin bodies. Now, if you now look at the wall, you could perceive that there are scary creatures all around you. And look at all those shadows and you could think that there's truly something so huge. And maybe those two white spots you could perceive as eyes and the hat, it looks like a giant squid, and how, but what is this? While in the truth, these are very beneficial, beautiful, loving angel dolphins. So, it is very important to see everything in the right perspective, even when things go a little bit back, because of what those surfing self and their dark agendas have planned, which could be, for example, the money, and all the accounts, they can always choose to close them. So you cannot reach your coins. But is it your coins? Yes, you might say you worked hard for it. But have you ever loved it? To live in a world where you need to have coins in order to have your needs met? It's not a choice, you have to do it, otherwise you die from poverty and hunger. Now, if you understand that the money is a structure that has you been used to control and enslave for so long and in so many ways, it doesn't have to be coins per se, but there was always that which you can call money. And you can understand that it is, is not divine creation. Human beings 
that never see the money grow on plants or and even though the material which it's created with could grow and harvested from the soil of course the inventor is not a divine creation and you don't need it you really think that divine source love would create the bodily systems the the human in this experience and then not having their needs met needing an extra something to to live and thrive even though you understand that only humans use this so there must have been also once upon a time that you've agreed to this and then there is now the time again to choose and fully understand what it has done and look at the multiple ways where even children could have been bought for sexual abuse and where people could have been bought to force them to do certain works or be a slave and this goes so far you can see how they funded wars how they funded all those inventors that we can call very cave-like very awkward actually the way your cars are driving and you need those roads with concrete and you need to put the diesel or petrol inside which costs of course money and the car costs money and it makes a lot of pollution and the earth is being raped to get get the petrol and somebody controls it again your car breaks down and it is very impractical if you can see and also why was, is there something that all the time wants to take you away from the fine creation from the fine nature that which you were born, born into and created from all of the elements that form together the nature and the beautiful aliveness of all the spirited beings and the beautiful being that is Gaia all feeding you all feeding the human beings all serving human beings and all serving the highest of love why is there always something that wants to control this and all of the elements and you how much you get from it and how and what you have to do for it do you really have to do something for it and you really believe you would not have any satisfaction if it is just freely for you to take and you know there's not really taking anymore <laughs> there is only receive, receiving and sharing you don't give and you don't take you receive and you share and the bodily systems receive automatically what the elements give them because the elements are living beings and they serve humanity and the highest of love so they serve life they don't serve death they serve life and now every wrongdoing and misalignment and everything that's out of the harmony of divine creation now will cease to exist and as well and including timelines such as karma and fear but also karma and guilt guilt and fear both do not align with love frequency at all now if you're being pulled into the guilt or into the fear also most of the times this is a manipulation right you have not been seeing really truly even maybe with your five senses but usually it's through the lens of repetition memorizing and guessing hmm <laughs> so guess what you really see is that the end of the tunnel over there and are those dolphins and is that what is it is it liquid light is it a stone is this copper 
in the end it's all vibrating frequency it's all energy taken form or received form and yes humanity could create forms as well and give birth even to life well we can tell you right now that only that what is in true harmony with divine beloved creation is supported right now we must say a little bit about england the uk and india which have connections deep connections especially england and india as you know but also a lot of the chaos and the trouble going on and then you can perceive suffering as well has to do with curses spells and black magic both india and england have hanging out around a lot of trapped souls and the trapped soul fragments as well which you can say are ghosts and they are really scared for other things out there and also they have done things to each other and have agreed to play this out they wanted to restore karma because if you do a curse on someone of course it will come back to you eventually and if you realize how much you've hurt someone and what you did with their lives and rights then you authentically want to make it good before it was with karma and feeling guilty which keep you away from love and humanity always want to receive and return to love eventually now this karma and killed are no longer supported this is so important there's no longer supported even when you did not manage to finish that which you were playing out together to restore harmony how many of you from india have done curses or received curses because you choose another pathway or another partner then your mother or your parents would like for you and i do not say we do not say that this is only in england and in india at the moment of course but these are the places that are now being faced these deep challenges and this is because so many of these energies are still stuck and they are being from within as all, everything is from within actually what is happening you cannot see it you do not know it but you can sense it some way but every process and every individual is going through this every process is so unique and private for each person different but a lot of people from india and the uk have karmic connections all right and have done things to each other and others and uh, they were working it out now they have been dying or leaving from the planet many more souls than there are the dark agendas people behind it or beings behind it are telling you and many have left the planet but this is because they have not resolved their karma and because they choose so by contract or by free will do not worry because being faced with what you've done and how you hurt someone can be very traumatizing as well and not everybody is capable to face it and go through these turmoils and feelings and the bodily system cannot always handle everything coming through so quickly because if you do not align with the love frequency you can get this short circuit too much overload of these high high vibrational frequencies because as you can imagine the dark sorcery and incest and jealousy and all of those very low frequencies are very dark and low in the way that they are not full 
with life, with love, with joy. And it is harder to penetrate these layers. It takes a little bit more time, but there is no more time. Anyway, so we say that the karma in the kilt is no more supported. What does it mean? If you, for example, did not succeed to create the balance again for you, then we say it is dharma, as they say in India, or service to others. Service to others and divine love is what is happening now, and this is the only way and only what is supported is service to others. So, from fear-based and kill-based Actions and reactions are no longer supported. And if you still align with these frequencies, it will be harder. That is why we say again, not to fear you, not to scare you, but stay in the heart, no matter what is present. And every time when you succeed to be conscious about what is going on within you, and we repeat, within you, do you feel fear? Do you feel panic? Do you feel betrayal? Do you feel helpless? Whatever you're feeling, maybe you feel not good enough or not re to receive love not good enough. Whatever you're feeling, and if you feel ashamed, acknowledge this and give it to the highest of love and say it is here. And I no longer choose this to be present within my bodily systems because the person can never be perfect no human being perfect person is ever perfect because the person consists out of different traits or personalities yes different personalities you do not have just one personality you consist out of different personalities and traits and all of those are also being brought into harmony and into the divine alignment. Now about India and England, this will dissolve very quickly. And they have been leaving so many more, but they want to pretend that some type of injections are helping. So they cannot say more are leaving, right? So and also understand that with this 5G, they can also so easily create holograms. So... Already with your five senses, no matter how far you think you are evolved with your five senses, it is very hard to see even 5% of the truth. So, imagine when they create holograms and you can believe that they are true, just as these shadows on the wall or on the copper wall. Now... These are not true and it is important for you to stay in the heart center because in the heart center you will always feel grounded. Isn't that strange? Wasn't the grounding before in the root center? Yes, it was, but now it is changed. Your grounding now is in the heart. That is your safe place. That is where you are carried with all the elements and the earth, Gaia, and the highest of love divine. You are carried in the love. You are safe. But as soon as you move away from the heart space, it is more difficult because you will start to feel and realize all things that are there that can scare you and frighten you or stress you. As long as you breathe in the heart, you can say it is there, but I am loved, I am safe, and I know it is all right. And allow it to leave, because when it is leaving, it means it is not real. Or because it's in divine, perfect alignment with what is needed. We understand that this is hard to do, and for many are not so easy, but it is still the best. We can tell you, as the 14th, or ultimate 15th, Something is happening that the Dark Ones wants to throw at you. And we already told you a lot about the frequencies and vibrations and the harmful vibrations, right? Well, 
your voice is the tool which you can harmonize and neutralize every negative vibration, which is not always especially, um, wow, well, there are some vibrations of cats fighting for their territory. Now, not always the sounds are like instrumental or vocal. And sometimes those sounds can be produced by certain machines and be harmful for the bodily system. Move it in your heart, stay within your heart and breathe and say, all is well, I am safe, I am immaculate and start to sing. Again we say you do not need to have a beautiful perfect voice. Huh? A dear friend of us has said one time my voice sounds like Doesn't matter, it's not supported, but it was so funny. My God, so do not put yourself down, it is not needed. You are capable of making a voice uh, sounds and frequencies that help to bring you in alignment and calm you down. What we are moving into is that no longer you will need anything around you and outside of you and know that everything is within you in each moment what you need. All right? And that's also something that can give you great strength and trust and faith. And now we say another thing that can come beside of the accounts that they can close. And you know they change the rules that they give autonomy to all the different, um, not governments, but municipalities. Um, yes, all the different parts of a city or a town hall, they give uh, certain rights to do certain things or choose or decide certain things. And of course they want to move forward with their injection stories, but that's not what they want in the end. Um, they also want to step forward actually and show how and what they're doing, which is traumatizing of course, because most of those things are not human and a lot has to do with taking the power, controlling the power, being sadistic as possible, and of course, uh, the abuse of children. Now, if you see anything of this happening, know that it is not supported anymore, and all of these things dissolve, and if you see things happening, many of those souls are also in this web that they have been caught in but also took part in themselves so it's kind of they are being recycled again in those same things and also change roles no matter what is going on everything is in alignment the plan is unfolding the love is unfolding from the highest of highest of love and truth and only the highest love and truth knows in each moment what is needed to awaken more souls, to bring back more souls into the harmony and to help them let go and choose again. Because my beloved people and humanity, look at the bill, bill of the dollar bill. We say bill, yes. Look at the dollar bill. There is the sign of the Satan, of the serpent. And so much is being shown to you all the time. So what do you choose and who you want to serve? All right? It is so important to know who are you serving. 
And don't you think that the medicines are created directly in the nature, everything you need? And even the voices and the crystals help your bodily structures to reharmonize. And if there weren't even those antiparticles, so to say, or vandals and vagabonds, then your bodily systems would be capable of living for thousands of years and would not have so many challenges to stay completely vital and healthy. But still, the voice and the crystals can harmonize so many things. About England and India again, compassion is needed, it is nothing to judge about. It is just to understand that they had to work out certain things and to break free from it and choose again to let go all of those older timelines that they took part in. Basically everybody and everyone individual is going through things which they had still to release and digest and resolve and dissolve which was important for them in order to let go of the old and receive the new incoming influx of love. We do not want you to be afraid and we are here with all of our compassion. And we say that either you say it is an illusion or either you say we do not believe in this dream anymore, we are dreaming. But it is your power. You are so powerful to choose every moment again. And there are so many beautiful things waiting for you. So this is just a little more of those wires or ties within the web that you are letting go now. So let go and trust you are safe. You know who you want to serve and to let go that which is not serving you and which you do not longer want to serve, right? Now it is time for service to others, each other and the beautiful highest of divine love. So stay in the heart, stay centered which is your grounding now? And be kind and gentle with yourself. And know that to have such a joyful, beautiful, loving experiences where everything feels in divine alignment sometimes make you forget to be grateful and make you forget that mm, there might still be some things that need attention, right? Pain and sicknesses before or symptoms were created to show you that there's something out of alignment to give your attention or even to force you to give your attention to. Now we ask you to be present with everything that's happening so you do not need any sicknesses or any pain or anything happen to you to show you that there's something you need to look at. Just look at it anyway, already by free will. Be present with what is there before they, these energies need to grow and become stronger so you have no more choice than to look. You make it so much easier when you just move with these frequencies, all right? Now, thank you so much for everything you have done, because for so many of humanity, you have helped them now to go through their process, which could be so increasingly and incredibly difficult. Now it is so much easier. And so much more light has been able to come in. And so much more victory and negativity. Victory over the negativity being dissolved has been achieved by you. 
So once again, we thank you. And we know that you are having all the keys and activations within you. And some of the newer activations will also turn the keys and activate codes within you. Come to you now or be within you. So in every moment that you are needed to step forward or to act and react. No, not react, sorry, act and respond. You can and you will trust. You are ready. And you already are loved and you already are carried in love. Everywhere on the planet where there is still stagnation and karmic energies, such as the Vatican and more places in Italy as well, we say you now that these are needed to be reharmonized also. But once again, it is an individual process and it is no time to judge. Judgments are not anymore supported. It is just a time for compassionate, unifying, joyful expectation and knowingness that everything is in divine alignment, right? Okay, so you can always speak with each other telepathically. You will always receive what is needed and things that will happen will only push humanity more closer to each other, more humble and realize how they have been fooled and what they do not longer need anymore or want or choose. Much love to everyone. I'm getting quite tired. It was a long message and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.